Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Whenever you're new, welcome. We do movie and series reviews and a monthly wrap-up tier list. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hulu just came out with a new thriller called No Exit. It is based on a novel by the same name written by Taylor Adams. It's actually one of my favorite books. I did listen to it last year. That's right, listen to it. I am a big Audible uh, lover myself in case you're new. I've mentioned this many times. I just don't have the intention span to actually read a book, but honestly, this book, when I was listening to it, I could just imagine if I actually had the, like, I want the book so I could read it again, well, so I could actually read it, because this one, it's just so much goes on to it with the antagonist here that you just want to throw the book and then just like run really quick and like see what else is happening because it pisses you off you guys it pisses like in a good way and like i really wanted to like chuck my phone at parts but obviously i'm thinking to chuck my phone now if you're somebody who is not really into like a bunch of twists and turns and this probably is not going to be the book for you or the movie for you because it does have more than one twist to it now i will be doing a spoiler free review because of course i don't want to spoil any of the twists and turns and anything like that um but i will be comparing it to the bug uh just some differences that were made but i don't think they'll have like a huge impact to the overall story i don't think so but i do want to point out small little details and specifically one part that i was when i heard that they were doing the movie i was really looking forward to see it play out even though it's a very very gruesome like hard deal but I really really wanted to see that and we'll get to that here in a bit. Now this movie actually was one of my anticipated movies of 2022 just because again I absolutely love 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 the book and I knew not to go in with big huge expectations just because you know usually book to movie adaptations don't turn out the greatest. I really haven't found a movie where I'm just like oh yeah like this compared to the book was just like 10 times better. Um, the only thing that was pretty close that I really liked was like Gone Girl and The Martian. Um, those were some that I really enjoyed the adaptation towards it, but a lot of the other ones, they just don't capture the magic. No Exit is about a young college student, Darby, who is trying to rush home to get to her mother who was hospitalized, uh, very critically hospitalized. And on her way there, she gets stuck in the middle of a blizzard and has to turn into a rest stop. And in that rest stop, there are four strangers there is a couple and then there's two young men uh, now while she's there she's obviously trying to get a hold of her family uh, to let them know that she's on her way and that she's stuck in this rest stop but there is of course no signal because there is a blizzard now in the midst of going out she does stumble across this van that's where she ends up finding a young girl jay who has been kidnapped she is tied up in the van and so now she is trying to save this girl but also trying to survive herself because she is stuck here ultimately with four strangers who she doesn't even know whose van this belongs to. Now straight off the bat they did change Darby's backstory. Again in the book she is a young college student and actually in the synopsis it does say that she is a young college student. Um, I don't know if they just kind of took it from the book uh, description but for some reason or another they decided to make her into a druggie in the movie which I honestly don't feel like it did anything for it. She is in rehab instead of being in a college dorm room. I feel that because maybe she was a druggie it doesn't give her the big how can I say it like sharpness I guess that she needs because in the book Darby is very much aware of everything that's happening. She's very smart. She's playing a cat and mouse deal with the um antagonist there's a whole thing that's happening there and that doesn't really happen in the book just like in the book we do reveal the kidnapper pretty early on of course later on there are more twists and turns that happen just because again i have read the book i wasn't surprised by anything because everything pretty much everything that happens as far as what's happened should happen except for a couple things like with the uncle doesn't happen in the in the movie they mention the uncle but the aftermath of the uncle if i recall correctly they they figure out where the uncle is at right for my book people could be another book but i feel like they did end up finding out where the uncle's stuff was happening i don't feel like the characters were fully developed um in the movie uh, we learn a couple things about their backstory more so not that much things that were mentioned but ultimately didn't really go anywhere of course in the book it does go more into detail now the cast was okay I guess it's not necessarily who I envisioned I don't feel like they truly truly captured these characters they did 
what they were able to do with what they were given right with the particular script but I mean I mean as a whole they pretty much did capture everything from the book they were trying to get like the big major things with it uh, one of the things that when it happened when Darby was going into the women's bathroom which in the movie they had it as being under construction and that didn't happen in the book the window okay if you read the book you know the big thing about the window but we know that the window is a big part of going in and out of the rest stop and just really messing things up uh, there's no window here there's just like a hole in the wall it grew some part that I was really uh, looking forward to seeing in the movie that we did not see the whole door hinge situation that happened that did not happen in the movie there's a whole other thing to it but I was really looking forward <laughs> I know right it's like my twist in mind okay you guys but I really was looking forward uh to seeing that play out the antagonist was uh, uh, dragging Darby I go oh, you're going to the to the door you're going to the door and then like something else happened and I go what the heck and then I thought oh okay so are we gonna lose like a whole arm or something but like no Darby is fully intact you guys nothing is missing I didn't think it was as gruesome um obviously as no it really not as gruesome because certain people that died in the book like really really bad if I recall that's not how they died in the movie Jay in the movie I didn't really like her she seemed very helpless very annoying little girl and in the book she was more helpful it's basically in one sort of um location so um you are very isolated because again we are trapped because we are in a blizzard and it does give you that claustroph uh, claustrophobic feeling to it the ending obviously is totally different than what happened in the book I don't know I don't I don't really like the ending in in the movie I even though the, the ending in the book I was a little confused exactly who it was <laughs> that Jay was visiting because we're like is it so-and-so or is it so-and-so I'm not gonna give you guys any spoilers on that either but I feel like it was so-and-so <laughs> uh, so maybe y'all can let me know down below like what happened like who it was in the book it didn't uh, capture the magic because even though I knew what was happening if a story is done right if it's you know good storytelling good script good acting it could still get me engaged even though I know what's to come and it just didn't do that for me so that was pretty disappointing uh but yeah I mean I guess those are gonna be my overall thoughts comparison book versus movie if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new so unfortunately no exit the movie did not capture the full full thrilling aspect for me personally because again I've, I've read the book I thought that it should have given me given it is a thriller but it still was an entertaining movie it definitely didn't fully disappoint me at all um I think it is still worth a watch and with that I am going to give it a medium popcorn but if you haven't read the book listen to the book if you're an audible lover like myself I definitely feel like you should get on the book because it is so good you guys it is so so good if you've seen no exit let me know down below what you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you if you've read the book listen to the book let me know your thoughts all right until next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye